Hello and welcome to this video. It is very important to have your devices up and running um, very well. But it is equally important to make sure that your devices are secure. Um, in securing your devices, there are different ways of doing that. We have environmental security and other sec uh, security measures that can be put in place. But one of the key ones is having your login passwords configured in order to keep away uh, people who are unauthorized from having access to your devices. Because if your device is open without having any login configured, that will mean any person, any Tom, Dick and Harry can just come and have access to your device and make changes to your device at any time that he wants. And in a, in a, in a production environment, this, is, this will be a, a big issue because this can cause your whole network to come down based on what has been changed on your, on your device. So um, today we'll be discussing these uh, types of login passwords that we can configure on our device. Now, the first one we have is the console password, uh, then we have the enable password, enable secret, and then we have the line BTY password, under line BTY we have telnet and SSH. Now, um, just the console password and the line VTY passwords, these are the passwords that are actually uh, configured in order to restrict uh, people when logging into the device. But the enable secret and enable password, instead of restricting someone when logging into the device, these are actually configured to restrict someone from moving to the user exec mode to the privileged exec mode. If you can remember in one of our videos, we made mention that if one has access to the uh, if one moves from the user exec mode to the privileged exec mode, then this means this person is free to make whatever changes that he wants because from the privilege you can move to the global configuration mode without any restriction. So you want to put restriction for a for person not to be able to move from the user exec to the privileged exec, exec mode, meaning for you to move from uh, the first to the second mode. So that's what these two are used for. And we'll explain and differentiate between the, these two shortly. This console password is assigned to the console port so that if anyone is using the console port to have access to the command line interface of your device, then it will ask for whatever password has been configured here. Okay, now um, <clears throat> we also have the LAN V2I password. The LAN V2I password, the, uh, we have Telnet and SSH. But basically, what is the LAN V2I? We use the LAN VTY for remote access, meaning instead of walking to the device or even having a device uh, with me and connecting the console cable from my PC to the device, then I can just use the network, right? Um, that is what we call in-band connection, all right? Uh, meaning I'm using the network in order to, um, to log in or to remote log into my device. So that will mean Let's say we have this building. Oh. Well, I just hope you guys understand. Let's say this was a building and then we have um, different partitions in this building. Let's say this partition one, this partition two, partition one, two and three. Let's assume these are all rooms. So. In here we have our switch, all right. We have our trunkings, and then we have our cables, all right. And then <clears throat> I'm in this this room or partition. So my PC is here, but I have a cable. So I have my connection. This goes through the trunking, and my cable somehow connects to um, one of the interfaces on the switch. So here I'm, I would be using the network to log into the device. So these are we call remote login. Meaning you are not using the console cable, uh, you are not working physically to the device having the cable or the console cable which is a rollover cable connected from your device to um, to the switch or router in order for you to have access to the command line but then you are using the network in order to access the command line. That's what we call inbound connection. So when you are using um, the console cable uh, on the console port to connect and then uh, manage your device that's what we call out of band, uh, out of band connection, out of band uh, management. So this one uses the network. 
But then, uh, uh, for me to have the remote access, I have two options. I have Telnet and I have SSH. Now, what is the difference between this Telnet and SSH? Both of them do the same thing, but the difference is Telnet is uh, unencrypted. I mean, it is not secure. While SSH is encrypted, and that makes it secure. So what do we mean when we say encrypted? Now, when, <coughs> when a password is not encrypted, that means the password is shown in plain text. So let's say the password that we configured here was CCNA. If we had someone to capture whatever data we're sending, so if the person was fortunate to capture part of the password uh, that, that is being sent, then the person will see our password in plain text, which is CCNA, and then I'll easily know the password, and then I can just go and enter it myself in order to have access to a device. So this is what we mean by the device, uh, the password rather will not be encrypted. But with SSH, this will encrypt the password, meaning your password will not be shown in plain text. So instead of showing the actual password, it will show um, different random numbers, symbols, and characters. So based on how strong your en encryption key is, uh, the stronger it is, the more complicated, you understand, uh, the more complicated the encryption, mm, the more complicated um, um, uh, random numbers, symbols, uh, and, and, and letters it will, it will take. So, for example, our password can still be CCNA, but then if one was to capture those packets, or even if you are to just go and and type show run to see your running config, you will see that it will not show the command in plain text. I mean, with SSH, it will not show the password with, with plain text, but it will show you random, uh, like I already explained, it will show you random numbers. Similar. So, like for example, it can show something like this. Uh, um, then you can see maybe an S, exclamation mark, one, um, uh, maybe Y, something different. So, there is no way you can know that this. Is CC, uh, this means CCNA. So, as a result, this is advisable. It is always advisable to use SSH instead of using Telnet because SSH is encrypted and more secure instead of um, Telnet. Okay. <clears throat> now we have the enable secret and the enable password. I already explained. We configure this when, uh, so that it will restrict us. Or you prompt us to enter a password where we want to move from the user exec mode to the privileged exec mode. Now, both of these do the same thing, but like 10 meter SSH, one is encrypted and another one is unencrypted. So we have enabled password. So if I type enabled password, well, well, anyway, let me say I have the option of typing enabled password, then I enter my password, let's say CCNA. I also have an option of typing enable secret, then I enter my password CCNA. So let's say CCNA was what I wanted to use. Also, it will not be ideal to enter this one and this one at the same time, but I'm saying if I was to use just this one and then I use the password CCNA or I use just the enable secret with the password CCNA. Now, if I type enable password and the password that I want to set as my password, then this will also not be encrypted. It will be shown in plain text, the enabled password. Enabled password is unencrypted. While the enabled secret will encrypt the password that you enter. Um, so the enabled password is an older command uh, to this enabled secret. Enable secret is newer than enabled password. So it is possible um, for one to enter both enabled password and enabled secret at the same time. But if you were to enter both, then just one will take effect and that will be enable secret. So even if I configure enable password first, then I configure enable secret next. So when I'm trying to move from the user exec mode to the privilege exec mode, if I type, now let's say the enable password instead of CCNA, the password was Cisco. If I type Cisco, this will not work because now it will not take the password because it has another one which is encrypted. So it will prefer this one. So as a result that it will take the CCNA. So when I type CC in it, then I'll be able to have access uh, to the privilege exit mode. <clears throat> so basically, these are the three, the three types of um, um, passwords uh, that we have. And these ones, we have two variations. Uh, and here we have 
in the line between where we have tenant and we have SSH. So just to recap, the console password is to put a restriction uh, so that if someone is using the console, uh, the console port to have access to the device for configuration purpose, it will prompt the person with the password. The enable secret or password one is encrypted while the, the other is not. Uh, this will restrict the person from the person to enter a password when one is trying to move from the user exit mode to the privileged exit mode. And the line v 2 passwords where we have tenant and SSH, telnet is unencrypted while SSH is encrypted. Uh, these passwords will also prompt you to enter a password when you try to access the device remotely uh, using using the network. Yeah, so that was all that we had. Uh, we'll have other videos uh, where we'll configure each and every one of these separately. Uh, thank you very much.